Okay, so here's the Easy Spin Motor version two, and I'm really excited about this one. Um, this one has been running on this uh, electrolytic capacitor here. Um, this is a 1,000 uh, UF, uh, 16 volt 1,000 UF, and it's been running here for 50 minutes uh, ongoing. I mean, it's it's going to clear over an hour. And uh, that's by far the best that I've ever achieved on a system like this. So just wanted to post the update. This uh, Easy Spin motor, I'm still working on it. Um, this is version 2. I am up going to upload the STL file so you can download that and print this yourself. Or, and I'll also post a link to uh, Shapeways. And the only thing holding me back right now is I'm doing a few changes to it, just perfecting it. So you can see this one has double the coils that the last one had. And it's, it's much perfected over the last one. So I'm just going to make sure that this thing is perfect before I do the final upload. But yeah, going on one hour here on a 1000 UF electrolytic capacitor. And this would be good even on a super capacitor with, you know, multiple farads. But to be running on a 1000 UF and, and getting a one hour runtime or whatever this is going to turn out to be. I, I really don't know, folks. I just, I worked through the night building this motor and... Uh, just starting to test it now, but really excited. So um, it will be worth the wait, folks, when I get the 3D parts all figured out. Um, and just be able to order a little kit of these parts off Shapeways, um, and you'll be able to build this exact motor. Winding the coils, it, it's an exercise in patience, I'll just tell you now. But uh, the end results are well worth it. The interesting thing about this motor, the way I have it hooked up, it's uh, just a single reed switch, single electrolyte capacitor, the uh, coils are connected kind of in an interesting fashion, uh, six magnets, 12 coils, but I'll, I'll draw that out on a schematic, and it'll, I'll post it on the website, laserhacker.com. I just thought I'd uh, show it hooked up to the multimeter here. Um, <clears throat> you can see that there's 2.8 volts on the capacitor. It fluctuates a lot. Um, this thing just kind of bounces all over the place, but it's been doing that for a long time, coming right up on an hour. So um, let me go ahead and blow on this, and you'll be able to see what happens to the uh, the voltage. So I've got a straw here. So you can see that just by blowing out a little bit, the voltage just climbs right up. So this thing functions as a generator as well as a motor. Pretty interesting. So now we're up to three volts. I'll give it a couple more blows here. Already up to four, almost to five volts. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just uh, really, really happy with this little motor. And uh, so I'll go ahead and stop this because that, that disqualifies the time run I was doing. But it would have run easily one hour on this, this little electrolytic capacitor. So definitely blows away all my uh, previous records and uh, definitely something I'll continue to experiment with. I'll have to hook the scope up to it. I'll have to experiment some more. I was experimenting with a diode, a recovery diode. And this this is just a little jewel uh, and I'm very, very happy with it. So the Easy Spin Motor version 2. The 3D files, uh, I've almost got them ready. And as soon as I have those ready, um, they'll be up on my website. Right now I'm updating uh, my website. So anyway, it'll, it'll be well worth the wait. The files will be up there soon. And uh, this little guy just goes. So, Okay, so I thought I'd do one more test and point out a couple more things about this motor that I forgot to mention. So I'm going to give it a couple of good hard blows. I, I blew it earlier to get it up to speed. I'm going to blow it a couple more times here. Alright, so I've given it some blows with a straw, that gets it up to speed, and all that's powering it now is the, uh, the small electrolytic capacitor. Um, one thing to note about this motor design is that I can actually uh, turn it over, upside down, and it keeps running. It's uh, suspended between two points, so there's no magnetic suspension on this one. So that allows me to move it around while it's running. And now what I want to do, is because I, I went ahead and blew on this a dozen times or so, put some voltage into the capacitor, now I want to slow it down and let you see the torque on this, because uh, the reason I'm exploring this, 
this concept and uh, looking at the efficiency of the motor and also ways to uh, feed back more of the energy into the motor is because this rotor actually has some torque. So watch this. So I'm dragging it here with this straw and I've got a lot of drag on that motor and it's I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to a stop so now, now it's stopped and then I'm gonna start it again and watch this folks I'm gonna let this video just run now let's go ahead and put a little more drag on it for a second so you can hear that this motor has some torque and uh, all that drag is still getting fed off this electrolytic capacitor here so now what I'm gonna do for the remainder of this video or until the uh, memory on my iPhone runs out or whichever comes first I'm just gonna let this run here in the video and this will be, kinda of be a long YouTube video and you can bail out whenever you want but this will give you an idea so we stop the rotor I put drag on the rotor and now I'm just letting it take off and we're just gonna let this little guy run and uh, this is so interesting I'm gonna have to get one of these electrolyte capacitors and actually check the voltage drop on the cap to see if because these these caps actually have a voltage drop just sitting with no load and as long as this is running, it may actually balance out to be an, a really amazing motor. I'm not making any claims at this point, but I'm really excited about this one. So uh, go ahead and just let it run, and uh, let's see how long this goes.
Okay, we've got to go, um, and it's been 17 minutes here, I see, and it's still just running along just fine. So um, my phone's gonna run out of uh, battery or uh, memory in the card or something. So what I thought I'd do is just set some drag here on it. Let's see if I can balance that. I'll tell you what, I'll just set it here. And uh, we'll accelerate the stop. It's really working away, folks. I've never seen a little electric lytic capacitor do this amount of work. <laughs> if I lift up, it'll speed back up. So it's pretty exciting, folks. A little uh, 1000 US uh, electrolytic just pumping this thing along. So, but again, I'm running out of time here, so I've, I'm just putting a lot of drag here on the rotor. But this thing has enough torque where I'm going to do some really interesting experiments in uh, returning uh, energy with generator coils back into the driver unit on this because, uh, and as it is, it does function as a generator as you saw earlier. When you blow a little wind on here, it it's charges the capacitor right up. So this is a generator motor combo. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if I can set this up dragging on the rotor and then let the video finish that way. There we go. All right, put a little drag on it. Maybe that will uh, stop it here soon enough that uh, I won't run out of room on the phone here. We're almost 20 minutes in, folks. So. Well, I thought this straw would stop it quickly. It's still marching on. It's been over 20 minutes now, so I really need to uh, get get some gener more generator coils on this. But uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to the comments on this video because anytime I release a video like this, uh, it seems to get a lot of people angry for some reason. I'm expecting a lot of good juicy comments and you're not doing your in and out measurements properly type comments, all kinds of nonsense. Uh, you know what folks, I'm building this stuff because I enjoy building it and when I get stuff that runs like this, it just puts a huge smile on my face and sure, I'll hook it up to the scope, I'll do measurements, but let me tell you right now, I've built many, many motors over the years and this is by far the best, so the uh, ability to 3D print this ought to allow people to get precise, exact replication, unlike the Romero UK thing where we all tried to replicate and it didn't work right. We ought to be able to replicate this little guy exact. So I'm really excited. Um, watch watch laserhacker.com. Let me put some more drag on this. This, this is just not stopping. Let me see if... I don't know. That's probably best just to leave the straw in there like that, but... There 
There we go. I've got it rubbing on two points. The straw is rubbing there and over there. So that's really putting a lot of drag on the rotor, helping it stop. Again, a lot of work for this little uh, electrolytic here. So very, very interesting. I'll, I'll go ahead and let this run until my camera dies or whatever um, with the straw on it. Hopefully with this straw on it, it will stop before it's time for us to leave because we got to go here. So anyway, uh, that's the update. It's not stopping. All right, we've, we've got to pack the car up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just bring this with me on the trip, I've decided. Um, it'll keep running this configuration. I can drive with it running, so I'm just going to take it with me because I don't have time let to, let this, to let this finish. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just bring this with me in the car, uh, and we'll see what, see what it does. I'll take it with me and... Uh, I'll post an update. I'm going to do a few more refinements to the model itself. I'm not going to change any of the dimensions. I think the dimensions here are really important. But I'm going to just refine, uh, refine it, make sure that Shapeways and places like that can 3D print it and that it works well. And uh, then we can all start, start replicating and uh, scaling this up and building better units. So anyway, that's it. Easy Spin version 2. All right, 20 minutes later, uh, we're all loaded up in the car. I've got this in the car and it's still running. I'm amazed after dragging uh, the rotor and everything else, another 20 minutes later, it's still rotating. Um, it's uh, really slowed down a lot since uh, we put the drag with the straw in there, but the fact it's even still running 20 minutes later to me is phenomenal. So anyway, we're headed out. I'll let it keep going, see how long it goes. So, driving with this is not a good idea. Every time I go around a corner, it messes up the rotation. But uh, it still has a little energy in it, as you can see. But um, there's a corner coming up. It's very likely we'll stop as we go around the corner and then uh, catch again. So, anyway, that's pretty much the bitter end of it. But uh, really excited about this little motor. So, all right, guys, I'll talk later. Let's all keep experimenting.